I did some digging and I figured out a few cool tricks about the search box that you get when you go to File Open. I'm talking about this thing, when you go to File Open, and it goes back a few years. I mean, there's a blog post from 2018 that talks about it, but doesn't really give a lot of details. And the reason I've been intrigued by this is I usually start here, and sometimes I'm just amazed. It finds things that aren't in the recent files. Sometimes it finds things that are more than a year old. And I always wondered, like, how? Where is that looking? So I uh, went to the Excel team, and they eventually uh, found Theo Lorraine Hale, a Microsoft PM who actually built the feature. And Theo was nice enough uh, to give me some tips on how it's working. All right, so there's three different sources of files that Excel uses. First, the recommended files, most recently used, and then shared with me. So they take that list and uh, build it into a superset of files in any of those three places. And then whatever you search for, they parse into words. And his interesting example is if the search term is my thesis number 10, the hash sign there is enough to make it be four words. My thesis, the hash sign, and 10. And they then filter the list of these to be the things that have all of the words from number two. All right. So when we take a look at the sources most recently used, we see that all the time. That's the big list in file open. Ah, but recommended files, that's not something we see all the time. You have to go to file and then home and this list here of recommended for you, right? So it's things that I might have edited recently or other people have shared with me or someone created a task for me, right? So recommended for you and then shared with me is down here. See, and this is where, because I don't do a lot of collaborating, so it's rare that I'm sharing a workbook this is where those old files are coming. I mean, check this out. Here's a file uh, cell alignment from 7-29-2020, even a file from 2019, 2018. And this is just because I'm not collaborating a lot. I have some really old files in shared with me. So yesterday I created a bunch of files that in the file name it has either the word kayak or thesis or sometimes kayak and thesis. Let's just see how it's working. We go to file open. If I would just search for kayak, uh, I'm getting one, two, three, four, five choices. Okay, and let's change this to thesis. All right, so they find six files. Interesting that like here in camel case, thesis kayaking, but even if it's all just lowercase and thesis is somewhere in the middle, uh, they're finding it. They're doing you know a, a partial search if it, if it appears anywhere. Uh, in the file name, it shows up, right? So we have one, two, three, four, six of those. And then let's search for a thesis kayak, right? Now we're gonna get just the two that appear in both lists. Thesis kayaking and thesis on kayaking manages to come back. The one interesting thing here is if you know it was about kayaking or canoeing and you're not sure which, if you would put it in both kayak and canoe, Canoe is going to eliminate all of the kayak choices. So it has to match everything that's up there. Uh, so uh, it, in, my, in my assessment of what's happening here, it's because I don't collaborate enough that those shared with me files are bringing old results, which is great. But sometimes, you know, it's just, it's not in any of those three lists. So I'm gonna come here to browse and up here, I'm gonna use that search box and search for kayak like that. And you see that we have thesis on kayaking, but we also have a to-do workbook that must have kayak somewhere in there. Uh, kayak rack plans was one that didn't come back in the other list. Good titles and words, strange that that has kayak somewhere in it. Uh, the CSV file has kayak in it. So it's interesting that this search box is definitely different and more comprehensive than the other search box. The other interesting thing that Theo pointed out and he was happy about is that for files that are stored locally on our hard drive, all of this algorithm happens locally here on the hard drive. None of it's sent to a server. None of it is a Microsoft 365 search thing. So for people who are worried about privacy or government agencies, you can safely use this file open search box and nothing is sent uh, up to the server. It's all handled locally. 
All right, so there you go. It's something that I've been wondering about for a while. Uh, we just had the MVP Summit this week, so three days of uh, hearing from the Excel team. And as you're sitting there listening to all these great things that are coming, it's like, ah, oh, you know, I never, I never documented what I found out about the search box. So thanks, many thanks to Theo Lorraine Hale for taking his time to uh, explain how the search box works. It might help you the next time uh, you're using it. All right, well, hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. If you like these videos, please down below, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments down in the comments below.